Welcome to Switzerland. We finally made it. Just left the town of Sagans behind. There it is down there. We've had a bit of a change of plan. Um, we were going to be doing two sections of the Via Alpina, starting off from Weistanen to Elm and then Elm to Lintel. We found out late last night when we were in the hotel that the Rochetli Pass, that's in between Elm and Lintel, they got 90 inches of snow and um, some people have said it's impassable and we thought better not take the chance. So we've come back one section and we started off in Sargans to Weistan and then Weistan and to Elm and then we'll see how much time we got. We might do a bit more of it but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, uh, as I said, just come up from the town of Sargans, quite a steep climb and we're heading in that direction. So let's push on. Another thing I want to say about the snow in the Rochetli Pass, people were saying on various Facebook groups that you need crampons because that's how much snow was there but we haven't got crampons so we thought better be safe than sorry, come back a section and start there. We were a bit pissed off about it but what can you do? It's still beautiful, we're still going to be uh, among some mountains, so yeah, happy days. I think we've been on a trail about just under two hours and we started off in Sargans. There was a sign there that said 451 meters above sea level and we are currently on a thousand and six meters and we haven't got above the tree line yet. <laughs> it's crazy and it's like we walked from the train station through the town and then we started on the trail and it's been upright, like steep from the get-go. It's just it's awesome and it's just unrelenting, but it's, it, you can't see it on the camera, but it is quite steep and yeah, we've done a few meters so far. Yeah, getting into this. Yeah, what we found out that um, the section we couldn't do was uh, unpassable. We were a bit disappointed, and um, coming down in the, the train from Zurich to Sargans, it was a bit of a sombre atmosphere. I could see Mark wasn't very happy. He could see I wasn't very happy, and uh, we've had to do this, this section we're doing now. But um, we just come up the tree line. We're on a bit of a flat road, a bit of a pan round, have a look at this view. I'm not sure if the camera does it justice but it's absolutely stunning. And there's a man, a man there sat outside his house. Gotta be fair, I love all the old wooden houses in Switzerland. Been here twice before. Uh, I'd say it's probably our favourite country we've been to. Amazing. And that's why we want to come back.
are descending down to Weistannen and that will be the end of the first section of the Via Alpina for us, first one we've ever done. We've done about nine and a half kilometres so far, around another four left of this section and that will be our first section completed. Really happy with that one, quite tough as well. Come to the end of the first section of the Via Alpina one, and we're in the town of Weistannen. Just got to find a little booth now to get our passport stamped, and we're going to have a look to see where the next bit starts. Because we might have to do a bit of that tonight to try and find a camping spot, because round here there isn't any. <laughs> and we knew that as well, you know, we knew it would be difficult getting a camp spot, but we're not either. We'll find one, we always do. I think we found the most friendliest cat in the world. Come on in. Come on. <laughs> well, it was friendly. <laughs> no, it's trying to grab my hand. We've got to press on now. Go and have a look at the signs over here see which way we're going to go and it looks like we're going to head towards Elm which is a nine hour hike that way so we're going to walk I don't know maybe a mile one or two miles there we are that was low and hopefully find the some of the pitch of temper the night We are approximately half a mile outside by Stannon and so far nowhere to pitch a tent. It's like it's just inhabited, there's farm farms everywhere and that's private property so that won't be happening tonight. First, we just gotta keep pressing on, and hopefully, we'll find something. come to this of a restaurant bar <coughs> just got a beer each shuts and shuts and get or something god I need this
we've um, found somewhere to pitch a tent and let's go in right by there it's the best place we could find and it is now half past eight and another hour it's going to be dark so we're going to put the tent up now have something to eat and turn in for the night because we have bushed we've done 10 miles I know it don't sound a lot but when you're when you're gaining like 600 metres of elevation yeah it takes a lot of you believe it or not it's our first ever wild camp outside of Wales and we could have picked a better place to be honest coming to Switzerland it's absolutely fantastic um, we found a little camp spot not many along the way I think Mark must have mentioned it before about trying to get a camp spot has been really hard but we found this so nice backdrop um, there's a river down there and there's our tent so we eventually found a pitch not far from the bar we had a couple of beers earlier just from the back basically and this is the best place we could find and we are running out of time as well so yeah but tomorrow and the next day are going to be much better we're attacking the, the food pass tomorrow and Sunday so we've got to climb another thousand meters plus which is going to be awesome so we're going to have some food now I'm having a real turn mat reindeer stew Simon's having a kebab stew kebab stew so we'll see you tomorrow for day two.